One of the things that I like to do is to make a, a personalized court for each individual team. So I'm going to show you how to do that today with some odds and ends and twists and turns. So first of all, I'm going to work with Cleveland. And the Cleveland logo is listed right here. And then if I go to the arena editor, I get this blank page. It already has a court on it. Now, I'm not from Cleveland. I don't know exactly what the court looks like, but I can change this picture. So I'm just going to dabble around with this a little bit. And first off, I'm going to open up a new court. This is just a generic court. So after you load the player file, go to one of the teams. I'm choosing Cleveland. And then click on the Arena Editor. And then I'm going to open the main court image. All right, to do that, you've got several that you can choose from. This is in a separate folder in the 1980-81 season folder. And I'm just going to swing down here a little bit and choose one sort of at random. We'll go with the standard medium, which looks like that. So that will be my court. All right, now I can take a look at uh, some different colors here. Um, the team colors for Cleveland have been provided to you up on the top here. So we have a foreground color, background color, and then an alternate color. So what we can do is go ahead and choose a color. Let's choose the foreground color here first. And then I'm going to go ahead and paint, um, the inside of the arc. Maybe instead we'll choose black for that. And then what we'll do is do the insides. The maroon color or whatever it happens to be. And then we'll do the center court the same way. Alright, now there's a logo down here. However, the logo probably is not um, transparent on the on the edges let's find out so we can merge the two together by the way I can open a different logo file if I want to and I'll do that here shortly but if I just go ahead and use the one that was already here okay we get this which let's be honest it looks kind of dopey because of the white on the background here so I'm going to show you a real quick way how to uh, eliminate that white area. Even if you don't have a genuine paint program, there's a freebie from Microsoft. It comes in Microsoft uh, Windows 10 and 11. I had to download it even though I have Microsoft 11 installed on my machine. So I had to go to the Microsoft App Store to find this. And here it is. It's called Paint 3D. So I'll go ahead and open that up. And we are going to open a file. And this is a good way for you to learn how to do this. I don't know what the default here was. I've already been visiting in here a little bit today. But in the Documents folder, it's a 4 Street Software folder where all 4 Street Software programs are stored. The Basketball one is in the Basketball folder. And I'm working with 1980-81. So I'll go ahead and open that. And then inside is a Logos folder. Alright, and here's Cleveland. So we'll check Cleveland here and let it open up. And as you can see, it's pretty small. So I'm going to increase the size allotment on that just a little bit here. And then there's a series of steps that you can follow in order to eliminate this white background. Once the picture is loaded, go up to the toolbar and click on Canvas. And then on the right hand side, turn the transparent canvas on. And if this little check mark checkbox is uh, chosen, uncheck it so we don't want to resize the image with canvas 
Next, we're going to crop the image a little bit by clicking and dragging in here to eliminate as much of that white area as possible. Then click on Magic Select. When you see this on the right side, click Next. And then uncheck the Autofill Background. And then click Done. At this point, the screen will look something like what I have up here. Once you're to this point, click on Canvas again, then uncheck the Show Canvas option. You can kind of see what we got to. This is what I really wanted. Looks a little pixelated, but that's intentional. While you have just the logo selected, go ahead and click on it to select it again. And then it would be a good idea to resize this, otherwise it's probably going to end up being a little too small for us. So just click and drag. Might want to do it a couple of times. It's okay if it's too large, it'll just zoom in anyway. And then save. So I'm going to save this as a PNG file. They are capable of holding on to transparency. And we'll just call this Cleveland 4. Alright, I am back in the Arena Editor. And this is what I left off with. And I wasn't satisfied with the logo in the center of the court here because of the white areas around it. So, I'm not going to save this. I'll simply exit out and then come back again. And I'll repaint everything that I already did. Do the insides of the arc black. Alright, now I'm going to grab my new logo that I made. So, I'm going to click on the open logo image. And you may recall I called it Cleveland 4. Clee 4. And now I'm simply going to merge the court with the logo. And there it is. Now in that resizing portion I could have made this even larger had I wanted to. Maybe it would fill up this whole area. And now I'm ready to go ahead and save the stadium. The default here is Cleveland 1980-81. Let's go with that. And so now when I choose play with Cleveland, find a game here in which they were actually the home team. There's one. Milwaukee against Cleveland. Go ahead and load it up. And as you can see, it's using my new court. 